In a News 13 update, Wild Water and Wheels is shutting down. The park's been a staple attraction on the South Strand for more than 30 years. And it's also at the center of rezoning talks over in Surfside Beach. News 13's Julia Kennedy is live at the park tonight. And Julia, you actually got in touch with the owners today. Yeah, Megan, Patsy, Wild Water and Wheels is a place where many local teenagers have their first jobs in the community and families gather from memories. But pretty soon here, you could be seeing buildings here instead of the colorful slides. The owner, Mark Lazarus, took to Facebook today to announce the Wild Water and Wheels will be closing down. I did reach out to Lazarus earlier today, but he was unavailable for an interview. Instead, he released a statement on Facebook saying, quote, I would like to thank all our customers and team members of our company that I have spoken to, worked with, and done business with over the years. Wild Water and Wheels could not have been as successful as it was without your support and loyalty. I also reached out to Robert Blumquist, the spokesperson for the town of Surfside, who said the mayor, any council members, or anyone on the planning commission would not be available for interviews on the shutdown as the timing was not appropriate. The next planning commission meeting will be set for December 6th, and they plan to discuss the future of the property. Reporting live in Surfside, Julia Kennedy, News 13.